everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lions uh, Challenges in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We scummed the shit out of the last one, but it worked. Let's do Darkness Falls this time. What would Darkness Falls be? We are we are Eve with the razor blade. Is this like all items that? Wait, one of those is fear shot. Let's see what we got here. Pentagram, Dead Bird, Whore of Babylon, Razor Blade, Fear Shot, Sacrificial Dagger. One today is V zero six D. 3, 1, E, S, and this is Darkness Falls. You guys ever see that movie? I saw it for like my friends. It's, it was when I was 13 as well, otherwise it sounds weird. I saw it for my friends' 13-year-old, their 13th birthday party at the movie theater. That movie is real bad. It's about the Tooth Fairy, um, but the Tooth Fairy is a monster now. Oh, God, be careful. I don't know whatever happened to the people in that movie. It was real bad. But that's the kind of thing you want to see when you're like a freshman in high school, I guess, and going out to the movie theater. Hey guys, who wants to see uh, Itumama Tambien with me? <laughs> okay, I'll just keep being lonely. Alright. Um, so some of these items, you have to be hit to kind of take value from them. Are they items that like darken our character? I, I really don't know. To be honest with you, this seems like an exceptionally good start. Uh, if you if you ignore the razor blade, you get a free damage upgrade in the form of the pentagram, a free familiar and a pretty dang good one in the form of a sacrificial dagger, which can actually do a lot of good work for you, um, and fear shot for free, which is a great deal. I don't know how fear shot actually works with the haunt. By the way, thank you to everybody who submitted uh, like ways to take out the haunt and make your life a little bit easier. I bet. Oh my God! Please don't die in the process here. I bet um, if we used Razor Blade during a period of invincibility, we would still take damage. And Rebirth, oh my god, we almost died. Okay, like I said, this is a pretty easy one. Look, I, I still need to min-max the haunts a little bit. Not that I'm a min-max player to begin with, but if I'm going to survive uh, the seller consistently, I'm going to have to learn how to deal with the, that guy in a way that's, you know, kind of uh, in keeping with the way that I deal with the other bosses at this level, which is usually just to not take any damage at all. Unless you're gurglings, in which case, fuck you. But this run does not seem that bad, even if we, uh, oh, snap, you're gonna have to excuse me for a moment here, I have to sign out of Skype. I got a message, I apologize for it, it happens. It's not, uh, it's not my doing. I'm sure many of you out there keep Skype on uh, all the time as well, in case an important message comes in from, like, uh, you know... United States President Barack Obama or something? I don't know who you got in your friends list. What, do you think Barack Obama uses TeamSpeak? I don't think so. He's probably got one of those red phones. If anybody has a red phone, probably the United States President does. Okay, let's see what we got here. It's PIN. A little bit easier for me now. So my thinking with PIN is that the most important thing is that we try to, you know, secure ourselves a deal with the devil. But it should be, oh, that was so bad. It should be relatively easy to hit pin with Sacrificial Dagger. Why was I standing there to take those shots to prove that I could and hit and hit pin with Sacrificial Dagger? It was the dumbest decision of all time. Let's just remember that, uh, you know, when good things happen to me in Isaac, when I play well, that's the exception rather than the rule. I am a, a dumb idiot and I need to be contained at all times. Well, for sure take the mark. I mean, this run is looking really good so far. A lot of these challenges so far I've found very, very easy, which is not to fire shots at the game or anything like that. You know, I, I understand why why that's the case, you know, because they, they've got to make it not impossible, otherwise it would be very difficult for the average person out there to finish them. Not that I am, you know, an, an amazing Rebirth player. I probably am above average, though. But they, uh, you know, they are called challenges, and except for uh, head trauma, which I totally cheesed my way out of, which I've found, by the way, is not an unusual story. I was like, Nick, I, I cheated head trauma and I kind of feel bad. And he's like, well, I did it too, so don't feel too bad. Or at least we'll both feel bad at the same time. Um, but apart from that, uh, it's been a relatively easy time. I didn't even cheat head trauma that much because I ended up playing like twice as much as I had to. Or, well, one floor extra than I had to. Alright, sharp plug and magic fingers. Honestly, like I know we start with a razor blade here. I gotta go with magic fingers though, dog. Like this, this item is... Uh, it's good enough, and if we get money, it's it's actually really useful. We use this on our head trauma run, and it helped us out a great deal. But I think that there's... I mean, it's very early. I can't 
in good conscience say like I think there's no chance that we lose but I, what I will say is I think there's a very very good chance we win on this run uh, we're, we're set up very nicely we have high damage items like we're almost starting out in kind of my ideal position as Eve which is just Eve plus more damage upgrades so even if we don't end up in permanent whore Babylon state we can still you know stay alive speaking of which I'm gonna gamble like crazy on our blood bank here uh, for a couple of reasons one reason I'm gonna blow these up too one reason is uh, that I'll be put in whore Babylon state one reason is that I'll get money and I can use that money Ooh. I don't want to take it just yet. Uh, I can use that money with magic fingers or to buy something in the future. Plus, we can get some items out of it. Oh, hematomesis is so good for us here. It, it, like, maybe the best pill we could actually ask for. It's certainly one of the best uses of uh, hematomesis I've ever seen. And I recognize, by the way, that I'm probably pronouncing that terribly. That's okay, though. Hey, we got uh, IV bag. So, I am not going to be too vigilant about this, but we'll, we'll do that. We're back to 17 cents. That makes Magic Fingers pretty dang useful. And we'll try to stay in our Whore Babylon state as we move onwards here. Uh, I know we could go back and gamble with uh, IV Bag a little bit more. We could even take IV Bag with us to make it uh, more confident that we stay in our permanent Whore Babylon state. But uh, I'm not exceptionally concerned with that. I would like to stay in it, but I can, I can just kind of more passively do that by not picking up Red Hearts. Which is a relatively easy turn of events for us uh, okay so yeah definitely don't get the battery but I'll take the penny that was half sarcasm I would love the battery as well we don't really have a spacebar item that makes use of it at all but you know that's okay I would still like to have it you know what would be an ideal item on this run Judas shadow I would take but uh, Abaddon would be so ideal huge damage upgrades then we get you know sequestered in the permanent whore Babylon state and I think we get fear shot as well which at this point might be a little you know unnecessary so we have to think uh, is it worth getting the map in this situation a lot of people have told me Northern Lion you uh, you undervalue the map with the map it's still completely plausible to figure out uh, where boss rooms will be just by looking at the room generation this is true um, but do I really need the map on a run where I'm only in all likelihood gonna be going down to mom I think the answer to that question is no. We'll probably be uh, just fine saving our money instead and maybe clearing out like four uh, big rooms as a result of it. Okay, come on. Give me that Abaddon. Give me that Abaddon. Okay, well, honestly, evil is a, a pretty good upgrade for us. And it's not like we've taken damage on this floor, so I can't be too salty about it. We'll do some looks around here. So I've been doing some thinking. And, you know, wink wink once do a little head nod if I'm right about this is it possible that challenge 11 and if I'm right it's gonna be hard to believe that uh, that I haven't looked this up but let's just you know assume that that will be taken at face value anyway I'm thinking that maybe chapter 11 apart from being something to do with bankruptcy in the United States I think that uh, it might be something to do with meat boy and it just kinda came to me cuz I was talking to Nick about the challenges and I'm like I'm missing number 11 and he's like I'm missing number 11 too. We're both missing number 11. What have we neither of us gotten? Like third or fourth level Meat Boy. It seems nearly effing impossible to get um, meat now. Even with, uh, I mean, it was already not super easy to get a third or fourth level Cuban Meat. It wasn't the rarest thing in the world, but it didn't happen that often. We'll totally take left hand with us here. Um, but now there's uh, the bandage items. You know what? kinda wanna just like I don't really want to use magic fingers here but I will yeah uh, now that there's the bandage items it makes it even less likely that you will actually get uh, that you'll actually get the meat options very frequently you will end up getting like two cubes of meat and then a bandage or something like that and even that is pretty rare you have to have like book of revelations to make that uh, exceptionally likely but anyway we're gonna just head down to the next floor again not gonna buy the map right now we don't need it so I'm thinking that maybe, like, we'll have to do some vanilla runs and try to become as, uh, ooh, alright, that's hematemesis, which is pretty good, uh, especially if there is a, uh, an arcade on this level, and, and we'll try to become as meaty as possible, I don't really know what that means, except, like, for our own play, that'll mean that we try to get Book of Revelations, I guess, and, and then just hope for the best, it seems like that's something that's become a lot harder, it might be easier to become Guppy, Verdict's still out on that one, or Jury, Jury's still out, Jury, Jury's still out on that one. Ah, that sucks. But, uh, 
Certainly a lot harder to become, or to, to obtain a, a meat, I think. A meat, what am I talking about? All right, peep. I've heard some people now, If uh, there's the Gertie versus the Haunt versus, sorry, Gurglings versus the Haunt versus Dingle debate. Who's the hardest first floor boss? I say the Haunt with Gurglings uh, in a, a distant second, but you know, it's like, the Haunt is the hardest, then an order of magnitude easier, Gurglings, then like five orders of magnitude easier. Dingle and the other bosses. I would rather fight Dingle than fight like uh, Larry Jr. for the most part. Anyway, yeah, great damage there. Very worthwhile. Um, there have been some people saying, I don't have a problem with the haunt, but Peep is impossible for me now. And I'll admit, you know, I get hit by Peep on the regular. It is not an irregular occurrence. Uh, but come on, dog. You can't put Peep in the same category as the haunt. He's so much easier. Thank God for that spirit heart. You know what? Two cents to not have to deal with that bullshit seemed pretty nice. I think we can get up to a full level uh, of heart here, but it's unlikely to make a difference in this run. It could, but it's relatively unlikely. This uh, this actually seems like a pretty good room to do that on. Two cents to not risk uh, losing a spirit heart in an explosion seems pretty good. Um, similarly, thank you. They all died for three cents there, which, as far as I'm concerned, is a pretty smoking deal. Let's come back in here, and, uh... I thought maybe there'd be a Demon Judgment. There's not. You know what's cool about Hematomesis is that if you're at a half red heart, it actually takes you up to a full red heart, which is, uh... kind of great for our current situation. Most of the time it ends up losing you health, but in our situation, that is not the case. So we'll be able to stay Horror Babble on here, no problems about that. And we'll be able to pick up a little bit more money to use with Magic Fingers. Child's Heart, I mean... Child's Heart's okay, but I think Left Hand is probably a little bit better for us uh, long term. For a variety of reasons. There's our boss room. I think we're ready for it. It's just Gertie. Uh, it's a champion version of Gertie. I think this is the Gertie that only spawns... Uh, that only spawns units, which is actually pretty easy for us. Anytime there's some flies that are causing us some issue, I can just hit the space bar and for, you know... One, or for 4% of our net worth, if you will, I can just kill him. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Problem is that they oftentimes get spawned, uh, obscured by Gertie, so I can't actually see what the heck's going on. It's like you got your own little, your Gertie bunker there. Your Gertie bunker. So I am trying to do some damage with Sacrificial Dagger. A little risky, though, because I don't want to, you know, find myself getting shot by a fly that's obscured by the Gertster there. Anyway, we're done with it. Deal with the devil, please, if you don't mind. Yeah, tears upgrade's fine. And inside of our devil room, goat head. I'll take it. Now we'll get unlimited deals with the devil, and additionally, this gives me um, permanent Whore of Babylon. Like, I can't possibly not be in the Whore of Babylon state right now, which is pretty solid. But our HP is not fantastic, but you know, I, I do play these challenges maybe a little bit more aggressively, maybe not though, but maybe a little bit more aggressively than I play um, your average vanilla run. Because I only need to get to mom, and I don't want to toot my own horn, but that's not necessarily that big of an uh, of an ask for me. I, it shouldn't be that big of an ask for me at this point in my uh, in my Isaac career. You know, beating mom is hopefully my neighbors you know don't hear this. Uh, beating mom is is not that tough, unless you. I mean, you can still things can always go wrong. Let's put it that way. You can get shit on. You can get terrible items from your item rooms and shops and stuff like that. And the challenges I think are supposed to simulate that to some extent. Mostly they're just supposed to be fun, probably. Um, who cares about that shit? I only care about min-maxing. That probably was not worth two cents. Um, but it, I like it because it gives me the freedom to be kind of stupid and aggressive here. Be aggressive. Be... What do you got for me? Broken watch. Battery. Those are not worth it. And I'm going to save our money. Like, a spirit heart could be good for five cents. But it, I'm going to go to our curse room as well. Um, ooh, baby. Yeah, I like this a lot, actually. Good chance to become guppy. And it actually gave us some HP. Strangely enough. Pretty much we just got nine lives for free, which is a, a pretty great deal. Um, but yeah, I like it because it gives me a chance to be a little bit more aggressive and uh, a little sillier. And if anybody asks, they're like, whoa, why are you being so silly? I can just go, hey, it's a challenge run, dog. This isn't officially sanctioned by Twin Galaxies or any shit like that. I can do whatever the hell I want and Billy Mitchell can't stop me. I'm out of your juris fucking diction, Billy. Now. Uh, what might Look, I would never do this on a normal run because I'm lazy, but sure. Um, our blood bank paid out with nothing. You don't see that happen all that often. 
Weird. Uh, let's move along. That's the game's way of saying should have picked up Child's Heart, motherfucker. You're probably right. And we might as well pick it up. And down to the next floor. We're in a fantastic position. You know, offensively, we're not that amazing. Defensively, it's it's almost unfathomable that we could be killed. If we end up fighting Blue Mom, you know, life, life could be a little trickier for us than we might expect. Figure we'd use uh, magic fingers there. Just soften him up a little bit, you know? Get a little stool softener going. I'm, I'm thinking of uh, cool synergies in my, uh, in my brain right now. I'm thinking about some uh, awesome ones. Like, how cool would it be to have petrified poop and magic fingers on the same run? You would pretty much just be able to stomp every room if you wanted to. Especially if you had, like, a, I don't know, dirty touch or something like that. And invincibility. But at that point, it's like... Anytime your your theory crafted run goes into invincibility plus an item that damages enemies when you touch it territory, you gotta stop because you've gone too far. Of course that synergy is great. What if you couldn't take damage and when you touched an enemy they exploded? That would be pretty cool. Of course it would. How could how could it not be? I'm guilty of that all the fucking time, by the way. I don't feel great about using uh, you know, magic fingers for fairly easy rooms like that, but better safe than sorry, right? You know, we're not necessarily in the market to buy a, a whole bunch of items from our shop because we are in a position where, it does, like, our long-term prospects don't really matter. It's like, imagine if, no matter what, you knew you were gonna die at the age of, like, 28. Would you save for retirement? I mean, would you even work, I guess? I don't know. Um, there, there's all sorts of different uh, questions that come in there, but let's use my framework because it makes my metaphor actually work. If I knew I was going to die for sure at the age of 28, I would probably not worry too much about retirement savings. It's like the same reason I'm not really worried about the map or the compass or anything like that right now. Or like ensuring that we get good long-term prospects for damage and we scale well, etc, etc. Who cares, man? The only way we're going to make it, uh, you know, past uh, the mom fight is if we find like Isaac's room or like a weird black market or something like that. Pretty unlikely. I keep going to all these rooms just because there's kind of no reason not to. This room's not that tough, but I figured, you know, why not save ourselves a little bit of hassle here. We've earned that luxury, I think. Now, if we could just become Guppy on this run, that'd be even better. What do you got for me, Loki? Loki, um, for two cents, I can destroy your bomb flies. So, keep that in mind if you ever want to spawn some more. With nine lives, we could get super stupid and aggressive and uh, take every deal with the devil that comes up. Hopefully no Krampus. If it is Krampus, hopefully Lump of Coal, but I hope it's not Krampus. Let's get a little bit more flexible with this run. Matchbook. It's another evil upgrade. I kind of like it. The bombs are, you know, not that important. And Little Brimstone. Sure, sock it to me. I like Little Brimstone. At this point, you should probably be aware that this run is basically over and we're going to win. I apologize for these runs being short. I should probably mix them up with some vanilla runs in the meantime. But, you know, it's a novelty and I, uh, I kind of want to see how all these challenges go anyway, so... You know, the, the thing with challenges, think about the, uh, the you know, Joni Mitchell or Counting Crows song. Don't it always seem to go, you don't know what you got till it's gone, you know? We've got, uh, we've got these interesting kind of like pre-packaged uh, uh, novelty runs. You'll miss them when they're gone. They're gonna make you lonesome when they go, man. Uh, we definitely don't need Goat Hoof. I'm happy to get uh, Guppy's Collar though, because I was feeling a little bit insecure about this run, and I thought the only thing that could make it better is if we have a uh, a tenth or chance at a tenth life with one HP, nine lives? No way, dog. Ten lives? We got a chance. So after we beat Mom on this floor, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna unlock our rune. You could uh, thank you. Ooh, that I could have taken damage on the spikes there. Hey, there was a post on the Binding of Isaac subreddit yesterday. It said Northern Lion's new least favorite enemy, and it was a spike. And you know what? First off, fuck you. Second off, you're totally right. Thirdly. You gave me a little bit of a giggle, but I'm going to try to get better, okay? I'm going to try to make sure that doesn't happen to me all that often anymore. There's almost no reason for me to continue coming into these rooms, but I'm coming into the rooms, baby. Because I want to see if we can maybe become Guppy. And actually, you know what? We might be able to fight Mom's heart on this run. Just for bravado, basically, because we have uh, Goathead. In fact, we might be able to like fight Shoal, or go down to Shoal if we want to. I'm not sure. We'll... We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, because above all else, I mostly just want to make sure that we win. This seems like, yeah, two cents to kill a mini-boss is pretty good, even if that mini-boss is the easiest mini-boss in the game. You know what? One more cent to finish the job here. 
Should probably, if we're gonna do that, we should start saving some money, because, um, you know, magic fingers, that shit don't come... Well, I mean, it comes literally as cheap as it could possibly be, but it doesn't come free. And that is not a guppy item, but was well worth the uh, investment nonetheless. Was that worth it? I mean, I'm starting to think no, but I've, I've got this bad habit now of... Uh, of using magic fingers anytime it's, you know, an enemy is slightly inconvenient for me. It's making me a little soft, I gotta admit. Why am I soft in the middle when the rest of my run is so hard? That's why I've got uh, over 400,000 subscribers now. i got the hottest Paul Simon uh, references on YouTube. Fuck you, Paul Simon fan 2008. I've supplanted you. That may not be a real YouTube account name. That was bad damage. Oh, no. Uh... I don't know if this run is about, like, th this could be the end of this run, or it could just be the very beginning of a wonderful adventure. We're, uh, about to find out, I'm assuming. I actually want to go to our shop in the hopes that we're actually fighting Greed. Wow, that was great. Because if we fight Greed, basically that will give me a license to use Magic Fingers many, many more times. Instead, we got Pandora's Box, which can be worth it, but is probably not. Piggy Bank would have been great for us in the early game, but it's all for naught because we don't have the cash for it anyway. Alright. It's a pretty wonderful position to find ourselves in here. And for once, we're not going to teleport when we get hit. <laughs> we're playing a little bit too much with Cursed Eye lately. And this one is, uh, you know, a little bit on the easy side as well. I mean, here's the thing, is that the balance in these is that you don't get item rooms, right? But if you start, it, it's amazing, it's kind of like, um, I don't know, I imagine it's kind of like pushing a car. Like, an Isaac run is kind of like pushing a car. Momentum is really important. If you're pushing a car and the car starts at 30 miles per hour, well, let's, let's make it a little slower so you can actually keep up. If it starts at, like, 5 miles an hour, it's a lot easier to push that car where it needs to go because you've already gotten kind of over that initial, uh, you know, movement threshold or something. You know what I mean. Momentum threshold. I'm not a scientist, clearly. I kind of feel the same way. I don't know. We'll take the fucking... Take the negative here. Oh, this run's not over, by the way. We might actually have to beat uh, Shoal on this run to get the trophy. In which case, I shouldn't have been so A, cocky, and B, aggressive. But anyway. Um, you know, if you start with... Uh, with a couple of damage upgrades, which we basically did. Well, we had Pentagram and Fear Shot, which is pretty close to a couple of damage upgrades. We will take Krampus's head with us now. Um, that that makes it a lot easier to do what needs to be done on the rest of the run. Robo Baby, Chemical Peel. Uh, you know, these items, almost all of them, I think, exist in the criteria of being pretty good, but not really worth it long term. So we'll head down to the next floor. We do not have a uh, we do not have a trophy yet. I don't know where this trophy will appear. I'm going to assume that it's after Mom's Heart, but maybe because it's dark was the night, you have to actually beat Satan. In which case, I probably would do some things differently on this run, but we do still have 10 lives, so let's not get too scared. Now, this is where I want to be on challenges. I want to be in uncharted territory, you know? I want to grow up to be a debaser. One more guppy item would uh, go a long way as well, but let's be honest. We're not, uh, we're not likely to miss it too much. At Judgment, uh, I don't like that room, or that, that like, poop situation. I so frequently end up taking damage uh, on the, the toxic poop trying to get that pill. I can't believe I got hit there. I can believe it. Let's be honest. We can all believe it. Alright, little Brimstone, this is your time to shine. I am not uh, sore at all over the fact that I gave up... <laughs> Very funny. I am not sore at all over the fact that I gave up... Uh, Magic fingers in order to pick up Krampus's head. Krampus's head is, um, it's, it's shameless, but it is one of the best spacebar items in the game offensively. No doubt about it. Hematemesis. Yeah, I mean, why not, I guess? Doesn't really do too much for us, but maybe if we get Dark Bomb or something like that, it's some free spirit hearts. Mama Goity. Not much of a problem there at all. We didn't get Mega Ma. I've been looking forward to using my, um, you know, Dr. Light impression, but... Haven't had a chance. One HP down. Oh, man. We gotta take it. Experimental treatment. All stats up, then shuffled. We're very fast, and our damage still seems okay. Three spirit hearts for brimstone? Don't mind if I do. Let's do it. You know what? We can actually use... Uh, we could have used team We still can, but we can use it later to, to get back to full HP if we... Ah, it doesn't really matter. Whoa! Okay. I got a little confused there. 
It's all right though. Brimstone game is uh, pretty strong right now. Between Krampus's head, my own Brimstone, and little Brimstone. We got kind of like a ridiculous, uh, you know, trinity here. Donovan would be very proud. Not Landon Donovan, you know, the, the, the artist Donovan. Saying that song, three's a magic number, which makes no fucking sense. Somewhere in the ancient mystic trinity, they found three, and it's a magic number. What the fuck are you talking about, you stoned hippie? I got nothing against hippies, you know, they're mostly, uh, you know, they, they are peace-loving folk. Keep to themselves. It's more than you can say about uh, a lot of people on this planet. But this is like a number one song in the 60s. What the heck, man? You gotta go into more detail. Can you provide some citations about this uh, somewhere in the ancient mystic trinity? Is that like, can we find that on a map somewhere? Did it take place in, in the Vetus? I don't know. Not in the fetus, it's a different thing altogether. All right, well that was a pretty good start, I'd say. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that we're gonna wreck the bejesus out of mom's heart here. It's going fairly well so far. Don't even fuck with my shit, lovely lady lumps. We, did we get the trophy? We don't get the trophy, we're gonna go fight Satan on this like really weird challenge that I've set up. All right, well, you know, I'm glad I took the negative, I guess. Are we gonna really have to beat Satan without getting hit? Or do we have to go all the way, oh my god, dark was the night. It was right there in front of us. Do we have to go all the way to the dark room? If we have to go to the dark, oh my god, what is wrong with you? If we have to go to the dark room, I'm pretty sure that I'm eating shit on this run. Maybe a guppy item could save us. I hope that's not the case. That's pretty wild for a challenge run to make you actually do the dark room. No guppy items. The odds were probably not in my favor, but pretty close. Well, I mean, I don't mind fighting these bosses. I'm pretty sure we fight Peep after this, which is also relatively easy, although he is the only one of the bosses to not actually uh, have multiple bodily segments. Oh no, it's two monstros. Okay, well, we can do effectively double damage to these monstros. And I'm not, ooh, that was a little scary. I'm not uh, using Krampus's head because this room is actually easier than the rooms that should come after it. Well, at least if things go, did I even get that? Yeah. At least if things go terribly, terribly wrong, um, we should find ourselves in a pretty okay position on the next run, knowing that we shouldn't give up all of our HP to deals with the devil, because the run apparently just goes on ad infinitum. Maybe this is a problem with me taking the goat head? Oh, that could have been worse. Lucky me. Uh, that is not a deal with the devil last time I checked. I mean, if I, we've already been there. If I, uh, Managed to take Krampus's head into the boss fight. I think that was a good use of Krampus's head, honestly. But if we manage to take Krampus's head into the boss fight, I think we're um, we stand a chance at least to to beat Satan without getting hit. Stand at the door. We're fine. That room sucks, though. Careful. Could have gone faster. You know what? Let's let's just leave and do it again. Yeah, that's a little easier. Ah, uh, okay. We sort of blew it and then came back and it was not blown. Okay, this is a big moment for us. None? None! Okay, that's a surprise. At least we're crushing like every room we go into, but it'll only take one truly uh, shitty room to to change that. Battery charge, black heart, this is pretty useful. All right, firing brimstone and using Krampus' head at the same time. I'm gonna call that a smooth move, WarioWare Inc. Oh, secret room could be good. I think what we really need right now is like a one-up. Oh! Yeah, boy! <laughs> We finally had a chance to use it. This is gonna ruin Horror Babylon, but it really stacks up the HP in our favor. Yeah, if you use Hematomesis on a, um, on a, uh, uh, the, the, sec, uh, the super secret room, you get Eternal Hearts. I think it's only on the one with Eternal Hearts. Thank you to whoever posted that on the subreddit. I appreciate that information a great deal. You may have helped me out a lot here. 
I mean, mind you, you did basically give me a damage downgrade. I'm gonna attribute that as directly your fault. But you also, like, quadrupled my, um, you know, active HP. So there is something to be said for that, probably. Bad damage, of course. I know we have a battery back there. Kind of felt like, thus far, we haven't really needed it. You know, even with uh, the damage downgrade, we're still trucking along here. And this amount of HP gives us a chance. And I do say chance. I emphasize the ch in the ants. Because I, um... I, the, you know, the dark room can still fuck with you is basically what I'm getting at. Well, uh, that was bad. Probably should have used Krampus' head once and gone back for the battery. Yeah, that, it's, it's not looking so good. Now I have the exact same amount of HP that I would have had before. Unfortunately, because I'm an idiot, we have to go back. I hate that we have amnesia for this, by the way, but we have to go back, and I have to try to find more HP. And there it is. Okay. Now, we gotta beat Satan without getting hit three times. This is probably it for the challenge right here. If I can do this, then we'll be fine. If I could turn back time... Okay, oh god! I, I got a little uh, spooked there. I think I've, you know... And by think, I mean I guarantee... Oh, fudge. I wait way too long. Um, at this point, I don't think there's any benefit to using Krampus' head on this life. I think we're just as likely to benefit from using Krampus' head on the next life. Yep, that's fair. And we're only going to use Krampus' head... If we get down, I still think we can do this, by the way. Oh, great. Uh, I'm only going to use Krampus's head. Now we start with Permanent Horror Babylon, but I'm only going to use Krampus's head when we get down to the foot segment of the fight. That's all right. This is a learning experience. Just go with it. Pop it down. Let's do it. A little bit better, maybe. Why only when we get to the foot segment? Because we have to prioritize, dog. Oh, shit. Okay, did I did I throw this whole run? In my defense, I did not think that this run would last this long. I thought... Careful. Nice. I thought we only had to worry about killing Mom. Now, there is a battery back there, so at some point I should, you know, try... Like, if I try Krampus' head once and it doesn't work out, shit happens, basically. Look, you think I'm loving my life right now? If only I hadn't taken so much shitty damage on the rooms preceding this, this would be easier. But this is not sunk yet. As much as it might appear like this is sunk, it's not sunk yet. It is a little trickier than your average Satan fight, you know? There's no, um... There's no question about that. I so easily could have been hit by that. Or that. Oh, or that. Okay, now it's feet time. I want to get both at once. Play it cool. We have to wait for the proper moment here. Did you see? He turns on a dime! We did it! Oh my god, we did it. Trophy. Okay, you know what? We deserve that one. Fuck all y'all. Rune of the Gas. That was a tricky one, but we made it work. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future on the next episode. The Tank. I'll see you next time.